Good evening. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward Gabriel Landeskog, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Gabe, to start, thanks for taking questions. I know it's not easy. Um, I guess just you've, you've talked about this, this team being one that you know is in a window where you could contend for a cup. And what just, as best you can describe it, went wrong in this series? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we, you know, there's so many things. I could sit here for 15 minutes and talk about it, but... You know, we try not to live in the past. We try to stay neutral and, and stay in the moment and be present and do what we can. Um, but obviously looking back at it now and evaluating the series afterwards, um, obviously game two, we got away with a win there where I think probably they were the better team. And then game three and four, we, uh, game three especially, we didn't play good at all. Um, game four, we really competed hard made mistakes that they scored on in game five. Obviously we're in control the whole game and game five is a really strong effort from us. And then we make three turnovers and they score on all three of them. Um, and then tonight I thought we fought real hard and, and battled and uh, worked our asses off and, and uh, you know, kept coming back. But, you know, a couple of couple bounces go the wrong way and, and a couple of shifts where we're not really engaged and we're not really focus they they obviously capitalize on um but listen i'm real proud of that group in there proud of the season we've had obviously it's you know you you're never really you're never going to be satisfied you're never going to be happy until you win that final game of the season so it sucks stings mike chambers denver post yeah, Gabe, the uh, two turnovers in game five obviously really hurt you. And it seemed like tonight the two D zone turnovers led to Vegas goals and really hurt you as well. If you could just comment on that, please. I don't know how much more you want me to comment on it. I think I, I, they scored on it. That's, that's the end of it. I think we, as a group, looking at this whole series, I think we learned a lot. I think we're going to have to learn a lot moving forward. Um, you know, it, it stings right now, it hurts, but, you know, I think with some distance, there's definitely going to be some lessons learned from this one. And obviously that's a real good team on the other side. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to learn from this one and move on. We'll take two more here for Gabe. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. <clears throat> yeah, Gabe, you're such a warrior. You've done so much for this team and organization. I'm not here to bury you. Uh, you know, it's like, but... Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, you go through the same thing again that you did last year. Um, what are the things that you think off the top of your head that you just think oh, we still need to learn from this last little bit and then we'll maybe get there? Like, is there anything off the top of your head right now that sticks out? No, I'm not. I'm not going to point to one thing that's going to put us over the top. Listen, it's a, it's a game of mistake. It's game of mistakes and it's, you know, the margin for error real slim. That's that's the end of it. I mean, listen, they hard fought series. And yes, like I talked about earlier, there's there's moments in the series where things went wrong for us, where we're gonna have to learn from and and obviously um, minimize some of those mistakes. But it's the margin for error is so small this time of year. And and listen, it, so really, that's all I got for you. Last one here for Gabe Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Gabe, the last 12 months have kind of been a bit of a roller coaster with the playoffs last year, starting in August and going into September. Just what has this last year been like, both physically and mentally for, for you and for the rest of the team? I mean, it's been, it's obviously been been different, but I think we made the best of the situation and uh, everybody came to training camp ready to go. And, and we were hungry after after the bubble last season. And, and obviously we had a real good, real good team coming into training camp and with COVID and, and, you know, 300 plus man games missed injury. I think we, you know, we battled real hard and, and, uh, um, you know, I think, uh, like I said earlier, I'm proud of this group. Um, excited to be a part of this group and I love all the guys in there. All right. Thank you, Gabe. Thanks.
We'll take questions for Avalanche for Nathan McKinnon, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Nate, uh, thank you for taking questions. I know it's not easy after a loss like this. Um, but I guess just looking back at this series, if you can point to anything, what, what just went wrong these last four games for you guys? Um, I think the last uh, um, two games were uh, you know, after game two, I thought we got out played in the last 40 minutes, and then they put us on our heels uh, in the next two on the road here. But I thought games five and six, we all played them. Um, I thought they all played us three games, and we all played them three games. And um, it's unfortunate we couldn't uh, couldn't bury a tying goal tonight. We had so many looks, so many chances. I thought we really dominated tonight. Um, but they're a great team, and they just put us on our heels in games three and four. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, we couldn't uh, shake that off. Or I don't know. It's just uh, it's, it sucks. Fifteen Mile High Sports. Nate, these last 12 months, you guys have endured both playoff runs and it's kind of been a, it's been a crazy 12 months for everybody. Just kind of what has it been like physically and emotionally for you and, and for the rest of the players uh, just to go through these two playoff runs and have all of the, the COVID pauses and the, and the empty ranks and, and all that going on? Yeah, it's, it's whatever. I don't remember really thinking about the last year. Right now, I'm just thinking about tonight and the last couple of weeks against the Knights. So, I mean... Whatever. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. You're obviously a very skilled team. What, what do you think you need to get you over the hump to be a championship team? I don't know. I can't tell you right now. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Probably the last time that we're going to be able to talk to you until training camp of uh, – you know, moving forward, if you could just talk about the fact that this team is still in that window, that you still have a lot of good things ahead of you in terms of the lineup here next year. Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, there's always next year. It's all we talk about. I feel like, I mean, I'm going in my ninth year next year and I haven't won shit. So I'm just definitely motivated and I'm just, yeah, it just sucks, you know, losing four in a row to a team and, um, you know, it felt like last year was our first real chance to win. And this year we had, I mean, we're, I thought we were the best team in the league. We, for whatever reason, we just couldn't, couldn't get it together. And I'm sure in training camp next year, we'll figure it out and dissect things and come back better. We'll take two more here for Nathan. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, Nate, you know, I know you're a gamer and, uh, and all this, and, uh, you know, I'm just thinking maybe out loud as far as in your shoes right now, it's like, all right, we've done all the thinking we can do. We've done all the game planning we can do. Maybe, maybe, you know, just fuck it. We'll just go in next year and just not think that anymore and just win this thing when we don't think so much. Is that, am I on the right path at all with this? Like maybe just guys think a little too much. No. Oh. Next, we, Last one here for Nathan. Sport, Mark Spector, Sportsnet. What? <laughs> you, uh, I remember you last year after the bubble, and you lost. A, you lost a series because you had so many injuries. You your third string goalie, and you. It was a crappy defeat, right? You didn't have your guns. Thought this year you did have your guns, but it's a year where the teams with skill aren't winning. The the teams that defend better, the teams that make less mistakes, are winning. Uh, is that? Is there? A, you know, it, is that a fair replication of what's going on here? You guys got all the skill in the world, but there's got to be something else. Any idea what it might be? Uh, well, you know, we were the best defensive team in the league this year in a lot of categories, so that's not it either. Like I said, we got put on our heels in games three and four. They, those guys are a really fast, big team, and they buzzed us hard. Um, you know, tonight, I don't, I don't think anyone's grittier than us either. We got a lot of warriors in our dressing room, so that's not it either. All right. Thank you, Nathan. All right. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Miko Rantanen. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Miko, uh, thank you for being here. Um, I guess just to start, if you can identify looking back at this series, what kind of shifted or went wrong after this, the second game there? 
yeah, it's the, the games uh, uh, three and four. Uh, I think they were obviously they're really good home home team also, and uh, and uh, they played really well in those games. Have to give it to them. But I think last the home game we had, um, you know, that's 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 why we we were fight, fighting for the home ice for the whole year to to get the home ice advantage, and uh, we had the we had it in our hands and and uh, it slipped away. Uh, so it, this thinks the most for sure for me uh, because the team we had and and uh, the potential potential we had this year. The way we played, and uh, so so I don't I don't even know what to say here. Ryan Bolden, Mount High School. I was wondering if you could just describe to us the emotions you're feeling and the the emotions in the locker room. I think you I think you probably know. Scott McDonald, Colorado Hockey Now. Hey, Biko, I know it's tough right now, but, um, you know, what, what positives do you take um, out of this season um, right now? Uh, right now, I don't know. It's tough to find any because nobody wants to play just good regular season and then lose in the second round. So, so uh, we, and I know we, all of us want to want to win and that's what we're pushing for. So, so, uh, so right now it's f tough to find positives. I know everybody put their heart out there, and Vegas was just a that much better team for two of the series. So so I uh, have to give credit to them and and uh, our all all guys in our team gave gave their hearts out. So can't really do much else. All right, thank you. Go. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Scott McDonald, Colorado Hockey Now. Hey, coach, I know a lot's going on right, right now. Um, you know, what positives, if any, can you take, you know, out of this season as a whole and, um, you know, just talk you through what's going through your head right now? Well, I mean, the, se the season was great. I mean, guys were great, committed to what we're trying to do played hard all the time, you know, step forward from last year's regular season. And, you know, we just, you know, it's just, it's going through my head right now. It's just disappointment. You know, it's, 
you, you see the look on on our guys' faces and how much they want it and how much they care and and how hard they're working and then just to come up short it's it just hurts you know it's but guys put put a, a long year in the work and, and commitment and dedication to to the team and and you don't get to where you want to go so it's disappointing but it's, it's not easy to win and and you know we're learning that and it's it's just disappointing you know some guys have been working for it here for for multiple years and together and just trying to keep taking steps forward and you know you gotta tip your hat to vegas it's a great hockey team and they played real well they were consistent throughout the series and in, in the way they played and you know we just we just couldn't get the job done michael spencer cbs4 jared obviously it's three straight years now you guys have been mounting in the second round is it is it too early to kind of step back and maybe look and see what you guys need to do or, or what you're missing as an organization to try and get you past that or over the hump, so to speak? Yeah, I'm not even really thinking about that right now. You know, it's just focused, you know, been focused on how we can um, beat Vegas. You know, that's all we've been thinking about, and, you know, since before the series started and, yeah, again, it's probably, you know, I just haven't put any thought into that, you know, at this point. Peter Baugh. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, um, Sam Gerrard obviously had an excellent season, but just didn't look quite himself this series. Is he, is he banged up or anything, or was he just a little bit off these past few games? Uh, yeah, like, I mean, a lot of guys are banged up. It would be hard to play through – couple rounds of playoffs and not be banged up a little bit but um the, he doesn't have a, a major injury or anything I think it's just you know it was tough sledding for a couple games there for our D because you know we just we couldn't get Vegas closed down in the defensive zone so I mean they're defending a lot and it hurt our rush attack and hurt our you know our offensive output you know, in, in almost every way. And, and, you know, we, we kind of rectified some of those issues and started spending less time in our zone. And then I thought you, you saw a little bit more of what our, our D could, could provide for our team as far as getting in the rush and helping us in the offensive zone. I thought they did a great job last game at home. And uh, again, here tonight, you know, we, you, there were some shifts in the offensive zone. We had some uh, in the defensive zone, but the, our D were up and a part of it and, and playing to our identity. We'll take two more here for Jared. Jared, 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 there's been a lot going on over the last 12 months with last year's playoffs starting in August into September. Just uh, what have these last 12 months been like for you? And just what can you take from these going into hopefully what's going to be more of a normal schedule and season next year? Yeah, well, the last year has been crazy because it's almost like even though there was a, a break and no one knew how long it was going to be and just seems like the last two seasons have blended together for us and it, it's uh even though it was a short season it felt like a long one just with all the restrictions and just different things that you had to do it was mentally draining at times but you know everyone's dealing with the same thing so getting back to you know in life in general and you know with the season I think it's it's going to be great seeing seeing things go back to normal and and you know schedule wise and the timing of it and and all that and, and it'll be on be new season will be on us before we know it but we'll have to reflect on on this season and and do some soul searching and you know try to find ways to 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 make our team better and you know touching on uh, Scott's earlier question you know we just we got to, you got to, you got to, you got to reflect on it and spend some time and, and put some deep thought into it. Not that you're not putting thought into it all year, but there's always things you can learn. There's always things you got to get better at um, individually, you know, myself, our team, our players, and then collectively as a group as well. And we'll identify some of those things and get ready for another go at it. Last one here for Jared, Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Jared, I, you know, I can't 
stick up for even more any more than um, you know possible. President's Trophy win, fifty six game season, COVID pauses, three hundred eleven man games lost. Um, that said, you know there's going to be some people want to point the blame at somebody, and maybe it's the coach. Um, you know, are you fully confident you can still guide this team? And uh, you know, and how much anxiety will you have about your job moving forward? Um, yeah, I'm I'm confident I can guide this team. Um, I'm I'm dedicated to this team. Um, with my preparation, the the my relationship relationships with the guys. Uh, confident in our coaching staff and the X's and O's. We're always working to try to improve. And, you know, people want to point the finger at someone. Yeah, I hope it's me, you know, because I, I like the way our team operated this year. I like, you know, our regular season, first round. And you, it's a, it's a real good hockey team. It's a great hockey team. And you, you, you're always, you know, we do, we go about our business and we play the way we play into our identity and every team's the same until you run into someone that, you know, makes it too hard on you and, 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 and you can't accomplish what you're trying to accomplish and, and you look for solutions. We, we did some of that, found some things that helped their team they were more consistent in the series and, you know, felt like we fixed something and, and get moving in the right direction and, and something else broke down on us. And, but I'm the leader of, of the hockey team as the coach and, you know, people want to come at somebody. It's me. I, 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 I live by a motto of extreme ownership and, and I'm the one that's, that's running the team. So I take responsibility. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank